today we went out to Browns Bay <clears throat> and caught a couple of chum. After my last video, I uh, asked lots of guys for some advice on how to catch chum, and they gave me some advice. One was a little pink hoochie with white spots on it, lots of bling in the water. So we did that, and we got a double header, beautiful double header. We, I never seen another net out, so considering we got two, I'm feeling pretty lucky. So I'm going to do a little video on how I smoke them. I right out of the water, right into my smoker in 24 hours and get them smoked up. And I'm going to show you how I do that. This is my version of smoked salmon. So first of all, you got to pour yourself a drink. That's almost mandatory when you're doing something like this. A little rye, seven and water, ice, good. Cheers. Like you can see, the salmon have been filleted already. There's certainly a couple of nice fillets. I'm not going to fill my smoker, but it'll be a, a nice little piece of smoked salmon for everybody to share. And two other guys, my brother and a friend in the boat, and uh, they're the ones that landed the fish. I don't know why I ended up with smoking it. I'll do a nice one here. About that, right there. It, it gets the smoke right through the fish. It, uh, it gets the brine right through the fish and then the smoke comes pretty much right through the fish. So it's a good taste to the fish. And actually it's a nice size to freeze. I layer it in there skin down, first of all. The first layer is always skin down. Put it up a little bit easier. So my brine is a very simple brine. It's two cups or three cups of Demera sugar. It's this stuff right here. So I put three cups in a measuring cup. And uh, one cup of coarse salt. And that's that stuff right there. And I mix it thoroughly together. Just like that. And I grab a spoon. Make sure the salt is right through the sugar. I find that the mara Sugar is better than the brown, the dark brown sugar. Puts more taste into the fish. And remember, this is only my brine. Lots of guys have got different brine and do different things with their fish and they're awesome. This is my simple way of doing it and it seems like everybody likes it this way, so I keep doing it this way. Then I take my fish that's layered in here. Like that. Here and I just spread the salt and the sugar mixed over top of them. I like to put a good layer down, make it solid, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to make another batch up. 
I could have done a double batch, but I wanted to do a single one so you could see what that would look like. Now you can see what I've done there. I've kind of flattened it all out like this. Now this other layer of salmon, I'm going to lay it in there face down. So I've run out of um, the marish sugar, so I'm using another batch for brown. Here, I'm going to move this so you can see what I've done. That's how it's layered in there. And I need to fill all this up with another layer so all the edges get filled up with uh, sugar and salt. So I put it in the fridge for uh, 20 hours, 22 hours. Let, let it brine up and this is a whole tray and I'll show you when I pull it out and look at what kind of moisture is in there. There's a lot of moisture in there. So it does actually get covered. By tomorrow morning this fish will be totally covered in, in fluid. It makes its own water. Ah. Cheers. into the fridge it goes. That's what it looks like. I put saran wrap over top of it sometimes, sometimes it don't bother. It doesn't smell, it just smells sweet right now. Nice looking tray of fish. So now we're 22 hours later. It's been in the fridge overnight and most of the day. And that's exactly what it looks like coming out of the fridge so you can see there's lots of liquid in it so the job now is to rinse it all off in cold water and try not to leak it all over the floor you have to deal with that so what happens when you're it's in a brine like that it actually gets pretty firm you can see it's pretty firm yesterday it was pretty much jello so then I start, I put it on a rack. And these are the smoking racks. I should tell you before I uh, put it on the rack, I spray it with the racks with cooking oil to uh, eliminate some of the sticking problems with the skin. Because there is, uh, they do stick, the skin does stick to the rack. all these fish are pretty much the same you can see the color is about the same everywhere because of uh, burying it in that sugar and salt um, concoction see that's just the salt that I'm washing off and sometimes it sticks on here just not today it didn't stick on here very much but it did stick on the back so you need to take care of that in cold water And I'll let it air dry here probably for about two hours before sticking it in the smoker. So now we've got it all on the racks. Put uh, these smaller pieces up on uh, the top rack. Easy accessible so I can try the fish once in a while while it's smoking. Looking pretty good though. And that's the brine you got left that you got to deal with. I just put lots of hot water in it and wash it out. So the fish is in the smoker. Good 
tray down there. This tray here has got full of water, just uh, so it keeps the fish a little moisture, a little steam. And I put my stove right on as minimum as can be. I can hope you can see the flame right there. Not very big. And uh, I try to smoke it for as long as I can. I like the slower the better. Between 150 and 175 degrees on the temperature. There you can see the smoke or not. One thing I do do is I soak my chips before I put them in for a couple hours also so they don't burn so we don't have a fire in here in a very short time. So that's what happens. Now we'll wait to see that that thing raises up to 150-ish, 175-ish and that's where I try to keep it. So this is the finished product. I left it outside last night in the smoker. And the uh, only thing that's left is vacuum pack it, put it in the freezer, and enjoy eating it. I tried some pieces last night when I shut it down, and it was awesome. This is a simple, easy way to smoke fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.